The renal arteries are still well above that, so it looks like there's enough of a proximal neck. Dr. Thomas Fogarty is a man of many passions. He is an avid fisherman, a surgeon and teacher, an entrepreneur, even an award-winning vintner. But the passion that stirs Fogarty the most is his love of invention. I've never looked at it as a road I chose to take. I, I looked at it as a mechanism by which I could improve certain situations. Fogarty was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, and grew up building and racing soapbox derby cars. He was an early entrepreneur, selling model airplanes to the kids in his neighborhood, and even inventing a centrifugal clutch for his Cushman motor scooter. I'd have to say I had a natural inclination to tinker. My father died when I was relatively young, so if I wanted things done or if my mother needed things fixed, essentially she would call on me. While he was still in high school, Fogarty got a job at a local hospital, first cleaning equipment and then as a scrub technician. So in high school I saw a lot of surgery and I saw the problems associated with surgery. And I started saying, you know, we can do these things better. And so I, I started making devices to do these things better in college. After graduating from Xavier University and the University of Cincinnati Medical School, Fogarty developed a device that would change the face of vascular surgery by allowing doctors to remove blood clots in patients' extremities without major surgery. It worked by inserting a catheter through the clot, expanding a balloon attached to the end of the catheter, then retracting the whole device, taking the clot with it. It isn't like I knew what I was doing when I did it. It's just that I did it. And I didn't consider what the reference points were or what the standards were. So sometimes I think uh, uh, not having structure enables you to come up with concepts that people that have had structure will not come up with. The Fogarty embolectomy catheter, developed from fly tying techniques Fogarty had learned as a boy, marked the beginning of less invasive surgery for many patients. In 1965, Dr. Charles Dotter used Fogarty's catheter to perform the very first angioplasty. Today, that technique is routinely used to treat cardiovascular disease and has saved tens of millions of lives. It makes you feel good, particularly when you find other physicians can adapt your technology to their practice. And so it multiplies what I could do as an individual for any select patient that happens to come to me. Another Fogarty invention, the aortic stent graft, has made it possible to treat aortic aneurysms in many patients who might not otherwise survive major surgery. With Fogarty's device, a catheter is inserted through small incisions in the femoral arteries, and once in place, a reinforced stent graft is deployed at the site of the aneurysm, strengthening the weakened blood vessel. How many lives that saved, I, I don't know, but hopefully a whole bunch. In all, Dr. Fogarty holds more than 60 patents for products ranging from clamps to valves to implantable defibrillation electrodes. And he has started more than 20 companies. Here, at this unimposing office complex in Portola Valley, California, the staff of Fogarty Engineering is developing the next generation of surgical instrumentation. They have the latitude to free think, come up with concepts that may, may appear outlandish. Uh, I don't criticize them for that, I mean, I encourage it. Fogarty's current project is developing a less invasive method for conducting breast biopsies, requiring no stitches and only local anesthesia. And one of his companies is working on a device that could save the lives of many heart attack victims. So if somebody had a cardiac arrest, this device could be put on and you could transport them to the emergency room and be able to resuscitate them in a hospital environment. When he's not developing medical products to save lives, he can often be found checking in on his patients or in the operating room, where he still performs several surgeries each week. But for Thomas Fogarty, invention is a way of life. Despite the rapid changes in medical science, his contributions to surgical technology continue to stand the test of time. And for doctors the world over, the phrase, get me a Fogarty, has become standard operating procedure.